Okay, so before you begin this creative exercise, I wanna make sure one, that you go listen to the talk that accompanied this, and two, be mindful. I am not a sex expert. I am not a medical professional, so if you have any underlying health issues and you're stepping into these practices, be safe, be mindful um, of where your body is currently and be gentle and be gentle with yourself and your expectations of what you expect. I want you to go into this experience as an explorer. And explorers truly at the heart enjoy the journey. Okay, you're enjoying the journey. This is not about trying to get to X destination. This is about enjoying the process of self-discovery, of building trust in your own body, of pulling in desires to yourself, of holding them and experiencing them, okay? So we're gonna take off the pressure that you have to go anywhere and enjoy the process. So what I first want you to do is go someplace where you can be completely naked or partly naked, whatever feels good, okay? I personally love to go lay like I'm a sun whore. I love to lay outside, take all my clothes off when the sun's out and just soak it all in. So that's you, go do that in a safe place. And that could be your bedroom, that could be a bathroom. Lock the door whenever you want and then I want you to just begin touching your body for the first time maybe you don't and just don't even just begin just touching your own face and as you begin touching yourself I just want you to start with gratitude you know there's so much shame especially as women and men too that your body should look a certain way they should feel a certain way but I want you to start just with a scan to begin to touch your face and just thank your face for all the beautiful expressions it holds, that it can communicate a smile of joy, that out comes laughter of this space, that in comes the enjoyment of food, the nourishment of liquid, the smells of fresh bread, of fresh rain, of the waterfalls, of the ocean, the top of your baby's head, all those smells. Thank this space. And just, just thank your body. And begin to work your way down through the throat. And as you work your way down, going through all the, all of the areas of your body, Go into gratitude and think about what is this piece of your body held for you? Thinking your throat, for all the voice, the sounds, the resonance it makes, your heart, for all the joys it's held, all the aches it's held, your arms for reaching out, for holding up, holding things in close to you, hugging. These arms, they're huggers. They, they keep us all doing hugs. They draw hearts together. They draw values together. They draw heads together for kisses. It's incredible. And just begin to work your body down. Coming to as much gratitude as you can. Begin there. And then just begin to lightly touch. Just be real gentle and begin to explore what feels good. How does it feel to graze your collarbone, the side of your neck? Use your imagination here. If, it's, if you're struggling to stay in your thoughts, it's okay if you feel like you're doing it wrong or it's awkward or giggly or silly. This is your first time, it's okay. And just notice what it feels like. You can even use your imagination. Imagine the most romantic lover coming to touch you, most gentle, butterfly even, whatever you want. This is, this is your experience. A wind caressing your face, the water, cool water dripping, whatever feels good. And then just begin to work your way down, all the way. Just slowly, slowly enjoying the whole process. And then get curious, okay? Get curious, go slow, explore different sensations. Just go play, okay? That's your whole job in this exercise. Go play. And you can stop there. You can stop at the just thanking your body and gratitude. 
if if you feel so if that was just a lot you can stop there you can take this in whatever phases you want and you can go explore and then if you want to go further if you have a partner I want you to take and after you go explore write down in a note on a notebook whatever go and see what felt good I actually really love my side of my neck being touched really gentle I would love that more I really loved my nipples just being caressed or my whole breast being grasped I really love my butt cheek being held I love the sides my sides my hips just being firmly held in two hands I love my thighs being clenched okay you get it you're gonna go explore this yourself first and then when you get to your partner, grab your notes open and share this with them. Like out of the bedroom, over a coffee date, over breakfast, before kids are awake, at night, whenever. Just say, I have something I want to share with you. I would love to explore these things more with you. This is what I've been discovering. You should go do the same. Go explore too. And then let's come back together and let's play. And you come together and it might be awkward at first because you're like, oh, they're, they're doing the thing I asked. Ugh. I don't know if I really want that because I asked and they're not doing it intuitively. But as you keep going, they're going to start doing that more. It's going to become more natural. They're going to remember it more. And it's going to feel amazing that they remember how to do these things. And they're going to see your body react. And they're going to get excited by that reaction. And you're going to do the same thing for your partner. And you're going to get excited by their reaction. And then, you know, that's where it goes. <laughs> so invite in your relationship this play and share it with your partner if that feels safe and if you have a partner that rejects any of this i encourage you to ask them to be open-minded and to come and watch this video too go watch the video beforehand too and go explore and play and give yourself as much grace and permission as you can seek support if things aren't feeling good and know that there's like there's real reasons why sometimes our bodies just can't orgasm and that there is support in that sometimes like for me personally I'll share a little bit of my story me personally I sometimes couldn't because um, I was in a high pain day I was in a high adrenal fatigue I was dealing with a lot of emotions but at any given point I could always enjoy connecting with my body I couldn't always orgasm, but I could enjoy the chemical release of being close to my partner, our hearts feeling close together, of my hand on my own heart, of my self-trust helping my body feel good, especially when it was a lot of pain. And so wherever you're at, just know that this practice is possible for you. I can't wait for you to begin. If you want to share your experience or how much power you feel after it, please reach out. I love to hear your stories. I love to hear your experiences. And I enjoy. <laughs> I can't wait for how beautiful life gets to be after you begin this beautiful practicing.